Today I'm going to be hooking up a small off-grid solar power system. I actually started this project back in October because I wanted this system to run our well pump. The pump hadn't been installed yet and I didn't know what the power requirements of the pump were at the time and it turns out this system just doesn't quite cut it. So we ended up running the well pump off of a gasoline generator. But fast forward a few months and this system is powerful enough to run power tools, an air compressor, and some other stuff. I bought this system off of Amazon.com and spoiler alert, they kind of mixed up my order. Once I started unboxing things, I quickly realized that things weren't quite as they were supposed to be. After I unboxed all of the items that came with this order, I realized that they kind of mixed up my order. Let me show you what I mean. On here, you can see there's two pages, and that's because there are two variations. This is the one that I bought, but then there's a different variation that comes with a few different pieces and components. I got, instead of four 195 watt solar panels, I got eight 100 watt solar panels, which is supposed to come with this system. I also received this little box that is supposed to come with this system. Everything else I got with the other system, the one that I actually ordered. I seem to have had my order mixed up a little bit where they sent me some of this and some of that, but uh, we'll make it work. So even though they didn't get my order quite right, I wanted to go ahead and set this thing up so I could start using it. All right, so I'm gonna hook this thing up, but it's also gonna be kind of a product review at the same time. And one of the issues I have is that so I've got four different manuals each telling me to hook things up in a slightly different way. The all-in-one system has its own manual. The solar panels have their own manual. This uh, box that came with my set that wasn't really supposed to has its own manual. And I think maybe the batteries came with their own manual, but I'm gonna go with the manual that came with the all-in-one system and uh, hope for the best. Now they also show hooking up the solar panels first, then connecting the batteries. I don't wanna do it that way. I'm, I'm not an expert in hooking up solar power systems, but I think I'm gonna save the solar panels till the end. And I'm also gonna make sure that the sun is not shining on them because I really don't need any live voltage going through while I'm messing with wires. Although I do believe the batteries come at least partially charged, so I'm gonna to have to be careful when I'm hooking those up. But I'm gonna cook, cook. I'm gonna connect the batteries first and then the solar panels. Now these cables they gave me are not super long, so I'm gonna to have to keep everything in pretty tight. Okay, so in the instructions they have the positive from one battery going directly to the back of this unit and the negative from another battery going to the back of this unit. So the way I've got my batteries arranged right now, the negative is here and the positive is there. So the negative from this one's gonna go to the back there and the positive from that one is gonna go to the back there. And then I will connect the positive from this battery to the negative of this battery. And I've got one cable like this, a black one, and one red one like this. And then the other cables, for some reason, there are these like double cables. There's one connector at each end, but two cables. Like I said, I'm not an expert on connecting solar power systems, so I don't know why it's like this, but, and I don't have a lot of extra of these single cables, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this doubled up cable to connect from the battery to the back of the unit. So I'm just gonna pull this forward a little bit so I can get to the back. I'm just gonna take off this nut and washer. All right, so I'm just gonna slip this over the negative input and put the washers and the nut back on. Now the same thing on the other side. Get my washers. And now that those are connected to the back, turn this around a little bit. And then I'm gonna go ahead and connect the positive to the negative of this battery. So I'll need a screwdriver. Let's 
So that's going to go over the hole and the nut's just going to go back down in there. And I don't think I need to tighten it a whole lot. We'll just make it snug. And then we'll connect the other end to the other battery. These wires aren't very long, so I have just enough room to have a battery on either side of this thing. If I ever want to add more batteries, I'll probably have to get longer cables. And okay, that's nice and snug. Now I need to connect the negative to the negative battery terminal and the positive to the positive battery terminal. And I'm going to have to be careful when I do this because like I said, I believe these batteries are already at least partially charged. So I'm going to go ahead and take the screw off. And I'll do that on both sides. I'm just going to put this screw right in there and make it snug. Now on the other one here, it's going to complete a circuit. There may be a little bit of a pop. So I'm going to hold the insulated part of the wires before I start touching anything. There's the pop. All right, that's nice and snug. The battery's connected. Now we can start hooking up the solar panels. I'm going to try to show you the back of this as much as I can, but these cables are short. I can't really turn it around too much. Okay, so here we've got the positive and the negative wires that will connect to the solar panels. I had to strip them because they came with the insulation all the way to the end. So you strip an inch or so off the end. You just need to wrap the wires around this part right here, and then just tighten it down. Same with the negative wire. Get that as tight as I can so it doesn't come undone. And now I can go and uh, plug the solar panels in. I drilled a little hole through the wall there. That's where the cables are going to go, and I'll hook the solar panels up outside. I'm not permanently mounting the solar panels yet because this room I'm in is the pump house for our well. And this system, like I said earlier, is not powerful enough to run the well pump. So I'm going to be moving the system eventually to the shed that we're building right next to this one. And then I'll permanently mount the panels on there. So for the time being, I'm just going to put the panels outside and just lean them up against the side of this building. All right, so I've got the wires coming out of the wall and I've got the solar panel set up. So now we just need to connect things. So in the wiring diagram to hook up four panels, each two panels, they have the negative from one going to the positive in the other. Same thing on this one. So there's a little minus and a little plus. And on these cables, the negative has the female end and the positive has the male end and a little red line there. So that's your positive and that's your negative. So the negative to the positive, I'll come across to these other panels and do the same thing. Negative to positive. So each set of two panels has a positive and a negative. So I need to take these two positives and get it to where there's just one so it can plug in to the unit on the other side of this wall. And of course, this kit comes with all kinds of wires and stuff, but what they didn't include was a wire that will take multiples and put it down into one. So I had to buy these separately on Amazon. So I'm gonna take a positive from each side so that's positive from these two, and I'm going to take a positive from these two. So now the positive from this one and the positive from this one are connected to one positive that's going to plug into the red one. And I got to do the same thing with the negatives. So negative from this side, negative from this side, I'm going to plug into these. Okay, so now each side, I have one positive and one negative that I can now plug into these wires that connect into the back of the all-in-one unit inside this building. So now I just plug them in. And 
then I got to flip the panels around so they're actually getting some sunlight and then we should be generating electricity. Now eventually these will be permanently mounted, but like I mentioned earlier, I want to have a different system that will power our well pump and these panels will eventually go on this building that's not actually finished yet. Now that everything's hooked up, I can turn this on. I'm not really sure to see how many watts coming in. It should be with four 100 watt panels. We'd probably get about 350 watts actually coming in. And I'm just not sure if I can scroll through the different options, but we do have power coming in. So now that we have that set up, I can run an air compressor and some other power tools but I am going to be installing other solar power systems again in the future because I want to get that well pump on solar and we have a number of other projects planned as well. But that's going to do it for this video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you again soon.